It's time to play some stuff. It was a dark and stormy night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the kickoff for Play Some Stuff for World of Warcraft Legion. Now back in the trending video, not videos, but trending games on Twitch. And it looks like the turnaround expansion is already having its intended effect with Blizzard. Although I don't really see with the, I'm not really seeing with the, with the, not necessarily the uh, playing numbers, but definitely on coverage sites like Twitch and stuff. People are at least watching this game, although the two low-pop servers that were originally medium-pop servers that I once played, that I play on, once played on, I'm playing on them right now. The servers that I play on, which were medium-pop when I came here, they turned to low-pop during Warlords. They're both still war-pop? War They're both still low-pop. And even Storm Rage, I left because it was too crowded. And yeah, <laughs> Storm Rage doesn't even have a queue. Barely a week after the launch. So you got the Blizzard Operations folks that are like, Oh yeah, this, this was the smoothest launch ever. Well, when people start playing this game again, then we can start keeping score on how well the Operations team is doing with making sure the servers don't choke. Anyways, so for a play some stuff for WoW Legion and here on out, it will be WWMJ 2015 style, and I want to try and do 60 frames a second. I spent a little over a day trying to upload a 1080 60 video the other day, and then it glitched. So I'm going to try 720 60, see if that works out, but I don't really think you can do gaming videos without at least 60 FPS, and Monolith can certainly handle 60 FPS. So we are out in Tiras Fall Glades, at level 102, Mr. Goodman here. This voodoo thing, let's get that out of the way. Out of the way here. What oh, Crusader's Outpost. Fitting. And a rare. Super low level though, level seven. I'm not gonna jinx that for some low level player. So anyways, I see some signs of combat out there. There's at least one mage throwing, right? Anyways, we're in Tiras Fall Glades because level 102, I'm here to get the silver hand. And I figured let's keep it simple with these videos. Let's cheese ball the Silver Hand quest as Prot. The Silver Hand is the gigantic holy hammer that's the artifact weapon for the Holy Paladin spec. I What I want to do is, I think Prot Paladins are so awesome right now, between the healing and the tanking and stuff, I want to see if it's possible to cheese ball the holy quest as Prot. So a tank spec Paladin getting the healing spec artifact weapon. This should be interesting, but with with builds and things like that for talents, I actually have it so Light of the Protector, which heals based on missing health, can actually be cast on others every eight seconds. So this should be very, very interesting. Consecrate heals as well. So let's go to the Tomb of Tear, which if you've seen a walkthrough of this holy quest, then you'll know there it is. I already did some of it before I came up with this crazy idea, so let's see if the scenario resets when I get there. This should be interesting. LZ should be right over these mountains. Let's cheese this thing! Or something. Yes! The scenario restarted! <laughs> did someone call for a tank, Pally? Oh look! Normal weather in Tiras Fall Glades. Something very, very interesting. Ah, there you are. There you go. The area Put was the music back at on too. Cost. This cannot continue. We must retrieve the silver hand and destroy the entrance to the tomb. All right. I will complete the ritual to release the hammer and collapse the tomb. But we must be quick. I can sense evil emanating from the tomb. Oh, you mean like those great evils that will destroy the world you if they hear? Lead a small team in first. Let me know when you are ready. Oh, you mean like those horrible evils that are going to destroy the world if the RPG heroes don't... <laughs> uh, little archetype within an archetype here. But then again, this is World of Warcraft we're talking about. So, yes, normal weather in Tiras Fall Glades. Interestingly enough, I wonder if Tiras Fall Glades ultimately... I wonder if Tiras Fall Glades gets his name from Tears Fall. And it's kind of like some kind of uh, name change type thing or something. 
This mod that I have with the normal size dialogue windows that looks like a regular RPG is Storyline. Very big for actually reading the quest text by making these games look more like their single player counterparts. Until we meet again, just a brief swim and we'll reach the tomb. Oh, nice diving. You should go into the Olympics, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it won't be like those folks on those YouTube videos that uh, belly flopped and got a zero. <laughs> those were funny. Didn't really see, get to see much of the Olympics anyways. Okay, here we go. There's actually a warning if you take the quest and you're not holy spec. Hey, this thing's made for a holy paladin. You want to change specializations? I wonder if there's a you're doing it wrong thing. If you do an artifact quest as the wrong spec. Behold, the tomb of Tyr built by the mighty. Wait, these monsters dare befoul the tomb. Oh look, shadow monsters, old guard, giant octopus people stand. coming up. Destroy these abominations. All right, now I'm gonna try tanking, even though this guy can tank. Healing UI is courtesy of Voodoo. If anything else, at least I won't die. At least that's the idea. There's the light of the protector cast on others. A little, yep, a little bit goofy. The interesting. Let's do this. Come on, open the darn thing. No need for theatrics. Tears crypt is overrun. The sacred hammer's wards remain strong. First, we must purge this infestation. Let me know. watch yourselves. Let us cleanse this chamber. I thought he was gonna say, "Let me know when you're ready." Run too far ahead, and the fight starts automatically. Anti cheese ball mechanism. Cheese. The word of the day is gonna be cheese. Make sure you have some cheese as you're watching this. Hopefully it's cheddar or Swiss or something, and not that, not like weird stuff like the bug cheese that. Uh, what's that stuff they have in Italy? Kasu marzu that's got bugs in it, or worms or maggots or. If I scream a little more, this might get like a PewDiePie video. Woo! No, I'm better than that. The cheese fest continues. All right, so let's use Voodoo here to throw Flash of Light around, what few that a prop paladin can throw. But the big weapon here is Light of the Protector. That's based on the health you don't have. Now, having played through this on an actual Holy Paladin, these guys will just stop if their health gets too low. They just cheese them back to full. There's got to be some kind of percent of health attack that these guys are doing. 62,000 DPS, but, uh, turn off merge pets with owners. I want to see these folks separately. Oh, wait, I really am doing 62 grand. All right, first off. Oh, great, it's mixing me up with actual Heladins. Come on, Consecrate. Cheese him back to 95%. As long as I only need to heal one person every eight seconds. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, we gotta pretend we're holy now. Kelly cast about five of these. Fredo. But by the time you're done casting the five flashes of light, Light of the Protector is off a of cooldown. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah! All right. Let's pretend to be holy again here. Flash of light, flash of light. One second left on the big one. After the ritual is complete, <laughs> and we have the hammer, the complex will collapse, sealing Tyr's resting place forever. Not to say you don't have to throw any heals, but with Something this... Something is wrong. One of the other sparks isn't here. Hmm. Been through this once before, so... Could have done this as holy, but that wouldn't Wait. be... I can Let's have some fun. Level. Probably taken by one of those monsters. You don't we say. We will begin the search when you are ready, champion. Yeah, whatever. Jump into the big dark Once thing and... Clear an area, reinforcements will secure it. Does this guy ever Onward shut up? Paladins. Okay! Onward, paladins? Oh, brother. When else do you ever hear that in this game? 
Yeah, so they must be arbitrarily dropping the health of the other guys because I didn't take any percent of health attacks there, even though I was clearly tanking those guys first thing. Get out of these guys are wimps that aren't tank spec'd. Actually, yeah, they're all DPS according to uh, our thing here. Or is that just a glitch with voodoo? I'm going to tank, not you, Mr. Trevard. Uh, how do these people take damage when they're nowhere near the effing monster? It's gotta be, you know, a way to force holy paladins to heal. So-and-so is critically wounded and won't fight until you heal him. Cha-ching! Uh. Made achievements of me. Crusaders, secure this area. We will press on. Getting, actually making it through here. The Holy Mount of Antioch. Well, not exactly a hand grenade, but... I'll take care of this. Surprised there aren't more Monty Python well references. Missed. No, I'm tanking, not you. Thank you very much, you pansy ass. You can't take a hit, I can. Arbitrary healing requirements for the win. This chasm oozes darkness. No, really? That thing has what we need. Prepare yourselves, friends. You don't say. Those ghost chains from the ceiling and this being a tomb. This place doesn't ooze with darkness and... Earthquake! Destroy the monster for the light! I'm on it, I'm on it, old man. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, and of course, he taunts the dumb thing off of me, so I'm gonna taunt him back. Losing threat. And I just blew Light of the Protector for no apparent reason. And there goes half the party. Oh wait, it meant to do that. Yeah, there we go. Trevard is gravely wounded until you toss Light of the Protector on him. That, I think, is actually a story moment. I only did this once before, but last time I was actually holy spec'd with the uh, Horde Paladin, who is primarily holy, as opposed to this guy, but that's not to say shot. Last of my brothers and sisters, I am all that remains of the Tears Guard. So join our valiant order of the Silver Hand! I have the spark. The battle this place has seen has warped reality too much. We must finish this now. So let's run away through all the... Hey, wait up, dumbass. <laughs> this guy keeps seeing- We have wounded! Aid them while I cover you! Oh, that's easy. We'll just one-shot heal that guy, and then... D d d we'll just use Consecrate to heal these others. Yeah, well, let's see if Consecrate will heal this guy back up. I guess not. So we cheese it! This guy- this guy needs to be cleansed. Do I even have cleanse on my bars? The void. Something big. We need to move now. Uh, wow. Uh, no, cleanse toxins. It has a different icon. The legions end. And this, my friends, is where you are forced to switch to holy, because you, unless you can dispel a magic effect, you can't get those guys out of there. And I'm stuck in combat. Epic fear. Okay, as if things weren't cheesy enough. So I ran out, because we need to cleanse those two paladins. Is it possible for me to cleanse them and then hurry up and run back here and then change specs again? Just in case I'm stuck in Shockadin mode. So there's the arbitrary, you will play as holy or else moment. The interesting part is I've changed my transmogs for holy to match retribution, so. Oh, brother. This level 100 stuff isn't gonna work anymore. I gotta buy new food or boost my cooking skill. Look at how slow the mana's refilling. It doesn't even go up all the way anymore. Those potions are useless. Amazing what two levels in uh, Legion can do. Epic fear. Come on, Blue Bar, you piece of crap. All right, now we can properly cleanse those folks because if you're not the healing spec, you can't dispel magic effects. So while the big earthquake continues, let's see if I can cheeseball this here. Let's do the farthest one first and then run. She's all set. Gotta wait a couple of seconds for that to heal back up. I wanna see if, oh, I'm out of combat right now. Let's get the talent thing up. Let's see if we can switch back to protection immediately after. Go, 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 go! 
Come on, come on. Stage nine. No time to waste. No combat. No combat. Nope. And I managed to get past the cheese part that forces you to switch to holy. Where's my truth guard? Get that sucker re-equipped because the two set artifact thingies Everything are. Everything is in place for me to complete the ritual. All right. Defend the tunnel. Woohoo! All right. Let's see how much fun this is as prot. <laughs> Of course, we're screwed if anybody gets cursed with anything. Come on. Yeah, so you can heal everybody back to full with the uh, with the prot heal. Once every eight seconds. <laughs> Come on, big guy, over here. And there's no percentage of health attacks for this. Oh, wait a minute. Now I'm taking some damage. See if I can not take damage for a couple of seconds. All right, now we gotta pretend to be holy. Come on. Oh, that's up. Cha-ching! Let's try not to get killed in the process. El Chizo! <laughs> Consecrate heal for the win. Because that thing's based to who? Uh oh. Uh oh, big evil guy is here. Let's bring them into the mix. Let's use some old warlord stuff. The only one that has to stay alive is me. <laughs> Three, two, one. She's back to full. Uh oh, these guys are gonna go. Yep. Can't stun it, right? Cha-ching! Alright, I'll use my... Use that. Yeah. Keep one of them. When one of them turns red, we can get the rest of them easily. Three, two, one. Fortunately, they don't actually die when that happens, but I just might. Still have Divine Shield. Oh, who am I kidding? Guardian of Ancient Kings, go. Why am I using Guardian of Ancient Kings in this thing? 77%. Couple of folks turning red. We can always bring them back in one shot. 84%. Alright, let's start cheesing it up. We still have Divine Shield. Where is it? One person back up. There'll be somebody who's always low, but whatever. Divine shield. Super cheese now. Let's bubble heal this stuff. <laughs> Take up the hammer. So doing, you will ensure Tears remains are protected for all time. No, 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 no. Let's rub it in that we just did this as prot. Get everybody back to full. Or as close to it. Cha-ching! Silver Hand Hammer Quest. As protection spec. That is skill. Now, we can switch to holy. But the only way I could be even goofier with this would be to equip it now as prot spec, where it'll hit like a wet noodle, because your main. Raid boss, anyone? <laughs> Apologies for the hasty retreat. The tomb's collapse was triggered by the hammer's removal. Though his halls are no more, Tyr is now protected by several tons of stone and water. The prison is buried as well. Because my order has been destroyed, I'm going to join yours. Or something. Hey, let's change specs and show off the nice hammer. I can think of no one better to hold the silver hand. Wield it well. 
Return to Tyrosus and tell him of our success. We will meet again. Ooh, it auto-equipped. So this is the big, huge hammer that we just went and got. It kind of sort of matches the whole color thing, but I'm probably going to transmog it into a sword. Because this guy's a sword guy. <laughs> and the special ability... Where is the special ability? This thing gives you a special ability when you equip it. Etc. So maybe I have to empower it first. Did it appear on the bars? Yeah, regardless. We have the hammer. I know it just goes ding, ding, ding and heals you a bunch of times. I think we have to empower it. We have to empower the thing first. But there you go. This is what you need to ha get your Uther on, so to speak. Blue guy. And even the way he runs kind of reminds me of Warcraft 3. Go isometric and it even looks... Yeah. <laughs> so that is it. We cheese the Holy Artifact quest as protection. Fun stuff. Ooh, you can get a Librum, too, as part of that. Yeah, well, we'll transmog that away in no time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Till next time. This is Multimedia J signing off. Thanks for stopping by, and game on.